what a year we had last year. Yeah, and, and 20, especially in Canada. Sure, yeah. I know. In 2023, over 63,000 wildfires burned across the U.S. and Canada. Our neighbors to the north saw a record fire season with over 45,000 acres burned. Meanwhile, here in the U.S., the acreage burned was below the historical average. And we want to know how is wildfire season going to be this year. So we want to turn things over now to Bernie and AccuWeather lead long range expert Paul Pastelock for the answer. Yeah, and, and few can forget the days of smoke that covered the northeastern United States and the Midwest from all the fires burning in California before uh, in, in, in Canada. Before we get into Canada, Paul, let, let's talk about how this year may be a little different than last year. You know, we thought with all of the, there was some thought with all of the uh, greening in California that we'd have to worry about a big fire season in California. But you know what? There never was that those gusty winds and that Santa Ana winds. So that was part of the reason why the fire uh, uh, acreage was so low last year. Yes, and that could, Bernie, be the problem again this year, at least for a while. And that's why the numbers are not going to be excelling, we feel, uh, for California coming up this year and, and a large portion of the West as well. So uh, we are looking at a forecast coming up here that overall for the nation uh, expected to be just below the average of 7 million acres for the season. We'll get to that in a second, but looking at mm -hmm. the significant risk, Bernie, for this region, uh, it's more concerning right now across the southwest plains, uh, west Texas, New Mexico, where it is much drier at the present time, and also conditions are dry overall long term uh, near the Great Lakes. We didn't have a very big uh, winter season as far as snowfall goes across that area, so it's not going to take long for that area to dry out. And those are the two areas for higher risk going forward. And of course, we've already had problems across uh, parts of West Texas earlier this year with the gusty dry conditions and the fires. All right, as we take a look at when fire season is going to peak across different parts of the country, no surprise that when you're looking in California, you're talking about that September, November time frame. That's climatology. What, right. What's the thought? up across northern New England and southwest Ontario for September and November, Paul. Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, you know, what we're looking at, we did have, we have two fire seasons in the northeast. We have one in the spring, and then one comes around when the leaves are falling off the trees mm. sometime mid to late fall. Now, here's the thing. We think that this summer, after a wet spring and a wet winter, uh, across the Northeast that it could dry out during the course of the summer season, especially mid to late summer. And if that's the case, going into the fall, it doesn't look like it improves anymore. We could have another surge of fires come into the Northeast during that time period. So that's the concern there. In the West, climatology says towards fall, that's the better time that we start to see fires in the West because we need to look at the La Nina arrival. Mm -hmm. Bernie, it's important that we see La Nina come on because that will develop the highs that spread across the north and kick up those winds, something that we've been right. missing and lacking over the last two years. All right, let's talk about the pure numbers, Paul, yep. as we take a look at this year and what we'll compare it to last year and the historical average. Yeah, here's the, the note factor here is that we're still forecasting below average, even though we're at right now ahead of the, the year to date pace. We are about 1.8 million acres burned already this year, way ahead of last year. And if you do the numbers, you take out the Smokehouse Creek fire, which mm -hmm. was about 1.1 million. We're actually near average to date at the present time. So. Uh, again, the rate that we're looking at right now, about four to six million on the acres burned. But again, acres is not everything that tells a whole fire season, Bernie. You know that. Yeah. It has to d depend on where these fires take place, how large, and how long the fire season extends. And that's the most important thing that we have to look out for. All right, Paul, really quickly here, uh, let's talk about Canada really quick mm -hmm. here. 45 million acres burned last year, record, uh, uh, a record for last year in Canada. We're not expecting that many acres to be burned this year, maybe about a third of that to occur, but still above the average of over 5 million. So it definitely looks like another busy season. They haven't had a lot of snow cover. I think things dry out and things start to get going here pretty soon, especially in June. Climatology says June is one of the busiest months. AccuWeather League long-range uh, expert, meteorologist Paul Pasluck. Paul, thanks for joining us.